This is the fifth in the series of meta level science videos and we're going to be talking in this video about an alternative physics map based upon meta level science. The physics map that we create is going to be based upon the map done by Dominic Wallerman. Uh, it's He did a conventional map and his map is viewable on YouTube where he describes it in a little bit of detail. And in the notes section, we've got a link to that video. One of the biggest changes from the conventional map is the removal of philosophy. Uh, with metal level science, uh, computer science and artificial intelligence uh, as concrete science replace many elements of philosophy. Three of the basic elements replaced are that scientific models are tools. The, the debate between nominalism, tool-based view, versus a realism view uh, is overwhelming in the favor of nominalism as when you actually try to implement things uh, from a computer science perspective, there's far too much data that is dropped and there are far too many transformations that have to be done uh, to move from the real world to what actually sits in the human mind that the possibility of realism is basically zero. Uh, further, uh, current scientific methodologies um, that we use create balls of spaghetti, and this has gone in detail in the earlier videos. Uh, a lot of the new tools that have been developed within computer science, uh, such as abstraction, refactoring, and agile methods, triumph or trump any uh, possible models that we're using, such as uh, peer-reviewed journals or uh, uh, other scientific methodologies, which has gotten detail in, in the other videos. Uh, further, uh, several of the more important things to do in science is that you need to have a breadth of depth of models. There, there's no one model that rules them all. You also need a breadth and depth of data, uh, also the properties of models and data and how they relate to each other. Uh, all of that's gone in detail in the earlier videos. One of the big things that has happened recently with computer science is that we've developed all of these very powerful computational tools. And these tools can revolutionize how we do physics and how we look at physics. They already are. Um, but some of these tools are just being done, used in the classical model, but they can also be moved over to the uh, relativistic or quantum models. I, I don't like using the terms relativistic or quantum because basically those concepts are, are replaced when you new, move these new computational tools in. And, and these can include uh, fluid dynamic systems uh, and even complexities beyond fluid dynamics using reactions and diffusion within fluid dynamical systems. And you have to look at how were the co original concepts of relativity, quantum theory, how, how were they actually done? They were done, created using the computational limits in centuries gone by. Uh, so there were, there were huge limits to how things were done. Uh, also, people didn't know that if you use uh, certain processes for creating science models or any type of uh, reasoning model, uh, you run into severe issues using processes. Uh, processes are, are done easily for certain things, but other things are difficult to do. And we've already talked about the refactoring agile and other methodologies used that can make models thrive and develop much quicker and more effectively.